I, I couldn't tell you a single thing about that. Interesting though, um, Arcadium is, uh, I know he's like a really good Dungeons and Dragons streamer. If only I could be reborn as a sexy lady, you know what I'd do? I'd get a job at this club right here. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you would. <clears throat> Cat's like, I want to go to Japan. Charge five million yen just to start a lease, and then it's five hundred k every month. Even on soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee twenty million. What? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. That's a lot of money. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. But here I thought you were just a huge asshole. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Hmm. Not yeah, that's like really expensive. Guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. There are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Dang. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? <sighs> and by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. A million a month. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please, even to the residents who have paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit.
you're gonna sneak in. Please, none of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. We have to do this angle. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbei and make it happen. I think we can do this. We can save Nanoha's father. There you go. On special ops. All right. Where is? I have to go back to Hello Work then. I don't know what this thing is. This looks like a Sujima. Oh, what is this? Hold on. <clears throat> Yeah, I know, um, sorry about your dad, but we have to do this side quest. Yeah, but that's, that Tsujimon symbol is inside of an arcade. Um, if it's inside of an arcade, like there's no com, there's typically no combat inside of a cave. A cave, uh, arcade. It's usually just like, oh, select a game and you get to play it, but I don't think there'd be a fight in there, but that's a Sujimon symbol. So I'm interested to see how that works, but I'm more interested in seeing the... Hey, where'd you come from? What? A pseudo trash? It's a... What? It's a, it's, a tra it's a dancing trash bag. What the crap? Where'd you come from? Wait, there's... Wait, there's... Oh, we got ambushed. What the crap? Oh my goodness. That's nuts. Burn, trash, burn. Remy just threw his bag. Nothing to vent this bad. <laughs> Goodness. What's your next Halloween costume? That's pretty easy. I'm a Sujimon. <laughs> Taking out the trash. Rummages through his bag. That girl with the skirt's like, yeah, go! That was crazy. We just got ambushed by a trash bag. Yeah, that's a new, that's a new, uh, Sujimon in our, our book, for sure. Oh, hey, look at this guy. Hmm? Ah, snooze you lose. Yeah, go ahead and heal up. All right, so where, I can go across that bridge, right? Wait, that's where the, uh, karate guys were. Unless it's the uh, creepy guy who's been sitting at the park by himself. I'll take good care of you. Hey, I'm walking here. Oh, I can't go that way. Gotta make sure I don't run into those guys. We'll be back. We're about to miss the story. Sub story's about to start. Ooh, check that fruit out. Ah. Oh. I noticed this was a persimmon tree. And damn, it's a big one, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm? Oh. 
Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. That girl. I wonder if she's sick. When the persimmon falls from the branch. Oh. Persimmon premonition. All right, we just need some duct tape, and we'll uh, we'll just tape it on. We'll just keep it on there. Is there a particular spot we need to go? I just have to like walk down the street and back. Yes, I walk right here and then, uh, right there it is. <clears throat> now they're like, ooh, shiny. We just picked up a beehive and it's stuck in our pocket. No big deal. Hey, the kid's not with you today? What? Oh, you're the man from earlier. Yeah. No, she's resting at home today. Her surgery is soon, so she's not able to go outside as often. Surgery. Uh. Anacha, my daughter, was born significantly weaker than most children. She gets to go to school for a while. She is learning at the hospital. She's in receiving treatment before her upcoming surgery on days when she was feeling better. Go out for a walk like last time. Despite that, it seems like the routine has finally caused her to shut herself in. I had no idea. Does the surgery sound promising? Mm. Well, she's healthy enough to go through with it. But the problem is that uh, is that she's losing her will to live. That certainly complicates things. Mm. Her will to live? Yes, one's well-being is often dependent on willpower. Even if the body is doing well, the lack of willpower will eventually drag the body down with it. Wow. Right. I guess uh, she's got want to make it through though. Too, huh? Exactly. I've been trying to do what I can. Like taking her outside for walks, but it doesn't seem to be helping. You can see this tree from our home nearby, and each time she looks out the window, it's the same thing. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. Don't fear that when the persimmon fall does fall, her life will really will fall with it. I remember when I came to check on the persimmon. Who it doesn't fall before a surgery. Forgive me, I didn't mean to get you involved in this. No. No, I don't mind at all. My name is Shubia, by the way. Yeah. I'm Kasuga. I think about this place pretty often too, so I'll keep an eye on that persimmon. Very kind of you. Well, I should be going. Stay on that branch until her surgery, little fruit. There's literally nothing else on that tree. <laughs> Alright, nothing else here. Alright. We'll run down the street and run back and see what happens. There's probably be like uh some Yakuza or the karate people nearby. It's gonna start swinging the branches or something. All right. Oh, it's not there. Huh. Let's run farther away. See if that helps. Go. 
<clears throat> yeah, I just didn't. I'm not sure if it's like running far enough or if it's a a time like 10 seconds or whatever. Oh no. Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Conoco's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still Huh? It's a sumo wrestler. You got to be kidding. Yo, what the hell are you doing? What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you, like, do that shit at the sumo stable or something? <laughs> I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Huh? Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. Goodness. A bottle of sake? Culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. Lost my practice partner. My brother. My family boss. I'm gonna avenge him. At the spring sumo tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. Oh, man. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. His partner must be some kind of monster. <laughs> a giant that being guy. Said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice. Oh, we're gonna assume wrestle. Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank. But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I, my screen froze and I was scared. <clears throat> Yeah, that case is we're gonna practice them just like throw pigeons on you. Practice this. Here you go, how about this one? It must be this one. Goodness. I'm pretty sure the other sumo wrestler is not gonna use a bat. And we got a new Suji Dex entry. Ah, uh, well thought. Pant pant man, speak for yourself. Oh shit, the persimmon. Ooh, looks like it's okay. Play your fight, says it all, boss. You got some and you want to protect. Protect this persimmon tree, no matter what the cost. Just like I'll protect my partner. Guess you and me aren't so different after all, huh? Boss. Yeah, I know about that. This tree here, it's yours, boss. Sure, sounds good. Thanks. Ask me, I'm gonna find another worthy tree. You're well, boss. Mm. Could be a cooker if we just found a different practice partner. That's why that persimmon's safe. I should check back out from time to time. How? We'll run back down. How many times I have to protect this tree? I'm pretty sure the the karate group is at same park.
Yes, keep an eye on my the flower. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Yes, keep an eye on my recording status right now. Get my phone to keep watching in the kitchen, but I missed a bit coming up the stairs. So we protected the tree from a sumo wrestler initially. Looks like the persimmon's okay. That was a really close call with that sumo wrestler. It should be fine now. Whoa, what the? <laughs> Damn wind. The next one will get him. <laughs> what? <laughs> pretty little persimmon's going down. <laughs> Shooting me? Babies? Damn, these little bastards hurt. I don't know what's going on here, but I need to stop that maniac with the persimmon's gonna get shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey! Stop shooting the fruit! You hit me, a hole. Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, you're that idiot who was dancing near my target. I wasn't dancing. You shot me, you dipshit! Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make sure the next one's on target. Kick his butt. Hold up. Cease fire. What have you got against the Wait, that guy has a minigun. Against that persimmon. It was just testing something out. Testing what out? I'm a big military fanboy. I had this sniper rifle imported from overseas, and it just arrived today. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? It's You're not holding it correctly. For a bolt action lover like me. And I also can't complain about how you're even holding it. <laughs> steel cylinder for maximum durability. The trigger even has that real authentic click. He's not even holding it correctly. <laughs> He's holding it like it's a anyway, handgun. I was wanting to test this baby Look out. Look at it. Lo and behold, I found the perfect target. That pesky persimmon. Ah, oh, I get you. That's why you were shooting at it. That's cool and all, but you mind switching targets? What? I can't have you shooting at that persimmon. You see, there's this girl who's sick, and that's a negative. What? Why? A sniper never lets his target live. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it down with my new partner here. Dude, it's a toy. Calm down. If you still intend to stop us, then you'll be our first hit. <laughs> he's, he's holding it. That's triggering me so much. He's holding the gun the wrong way. Like you could, that gun would be so held, like so heavy. There's no way you'd be able to hold it like that. Oh, here's my sniper rifle thing. Oh, watch out for the box. A gutter sniper. Got him. Damn, never really been for a close quarter combat. Damn, it really didn't need to go down like that. Yeah, we, we're, we're getting rich. Time to abort mission to move on. I don't want to see you shooting at that thing again. Ah, fine. I'll let you have this one. The kill is yours. I kill anything anyway. Gotta get going. He has a minigun behind us, by the way. Hey, hold up. One last thing. That gun on top of the minigun looks like a Fallout 76 gun. That was a fun fight. Human targets bring the thrill to a whole new level. Is it alright if we do this again once I order a new gun? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll kick your scope loving ass as many times as you want. As long as you leave the persimmon alone. Assassin's Creed 1 is your favorite? Assassin's Creed 1 was like, it was, I, I have the nostalgia of it because it was just original, you know? Brother, I'll... All right, it looks like the persimmon's safe for now. Hopefully it stays that way until the surgery. Hey, what if we just duct tape it to the tree? Nothing wrong with that. Or what if we pick? See, it says the persimmon falls from the tree, right? What if we pick the persimmon, huh? Hmm? Or we can just duct tape it. Some gorilla glue. I wonder how many times we have to protect this persimmon. <laughs> yeah, I think it says the persimmon falls. So if we like duct tape it or glue it or... The thing is if we pick it, 
What's that guy doing? Is he chopping the tree down? Are you kidding me? No. What's that sound? What is he doing? What now? Oh, he's hammering a straw doll to the persimmon tree. Uh. Wait. Persimmon tree. Is that the guy's dad, or is hey, just some rando? What the hell you think you're doing? None of your business. I'm casting a hex. Now scram. <laughs> Yo, hold up, man. You stop that hex right now. Then why you gotta hurt the tree? <sighs> You'll never understand how I feel. I'm gonna cast the hex on her. Her? Yes, on Hitomi, my classmate, and my girlfriend. What? You're putting a curse on your girlfriend? Weird. What the hell for? I finally realized she never cared about me. I caught her kissing my senpai from the soccer team. Oh, senpai. Right here in front of this tree. Oh. For fuck's sake. Of all places for the shit to go down. So I'm casting a hex, hammering this doll right into their special spot. No, wait. I know it really sucks for your girl to have betrayed you like that, but this won't solve anything. She might have had a reason for doing what she did. Are you taking her side too? Huh? Nobody understands how I feel. Everybody always takes her side. Yeah, that's right, Captain no, Tsubasa. That's not what I mean. Enough! I'll cast a hex on anyone who sides with that traitor. And you're first, Shrubby! What? Not a Shrubby? Uh, the original has some replay. I love that inclusion of the twenty. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's what made it. Like, that's what the parts of Sesquire I liked. I like the that kind of part, but then just kind of got away from that more recently. Oh, eat crap, kid! X that. I'm gonna be your girlfriend, senpai next. Dude, we're beating the crap out of these guys for a lot of money. <laughs> a Suji Dex Locker Warlock. <laughs> Nice. I'll, I'll sit here and defend this tree all day for 5k. Easy money. You're Trevor, then you look. A power bomb. It told me, John. He's poor has been played by his girlfriend. Guess I can't blame him. What's uh? Where's her? Uh, where's she at? The way she picked up the eraser for me in such tenderness. Wait. Wait, the razor picture my eraser for me with such tenderness? Was it all lie? Oh my, I want these things again. Mm -hmm. Eraser? Yeah, I dropped my eraser. And Tommy Sean picked it up and gave it back to me. <laughs> but when she did, our hands touched. Oh man. That means we're dating now. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. oh. What? What? Wait, is that really it? That's the extent of your relationship? Well, yes. I haven't spoken to her since, since, but I did do a tier three sub on Twitch for her. That's enough, isn't it? Our hands touched. We're basically married now, and I'm a tier three on Patreon as well. No, nah, that's not how it works. Not in the slightest. You need to be tier three on Twitch, Patreon, and OnlyFans. Oh, I see. You know, it wasn't the first time a girl had touched me. I'll lay off the witchcraft. Sorry for the, any trouble. Good plan. I get to OnlyFans. Fans ah! littering. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm off to look for a new lover. Oh, well, good luck. Hope you'll need it. Hope she uses your pencil. Diamond tier Patreon, level three on OnlyFans. Pay the next row handsome some change or something. <laughs> you have to sub on all the, all the socials and you have to like every post and comment and share. The way this tree check solves for weirdos, doesn't it? Wait, I was the first one here. Oh. Wait, she's standing? I thought she was she was in a wheelchair. Hold up. Hold up, lady. Are you an imposter? I see you. One of our Facebook friends? Yeah, you have to do that one too. 
You have to buy her merch as well, though. If you don't buy her merch, you're really not a, a true fan. For quite honest, um, hoodie, socks, hats, leggings, um, keychains, handkerchiefs, um, limited edition T-shirt. Oh my gosh! You got to be a mod too. Yeah, that's actually a prerequisite for all that. Um, being a mod is, is like the way in. That's really how love starts is uh, through modding. He's already your girlfriend if I'm a, if I'm a Patreon. I didn't even see those guys. I was just kind of running away to reset the quest. This is actually a really long quest. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting a job. I'm too busy defending an orange. Yeah, and you have to have, um, you have to be there for every stream as well and comment and defend her on Twitter. Well, the persimmon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga-san. You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Oh, Kanako, come here. Oh yeah, she's walking. I, I noticed that. Kanako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days... That look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. You're no faking. <laughs> That's great. She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. No, nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Oh, fighting a bet you did. wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that rich boy. And all to protect the, <laughs> the <persimmon>. witch boy. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. Are but you his girlfriend? There's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh yeah. Guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> the persimmon's gonna I'm fall. Just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? I haven't done no. Huh? I haven't done the bike mini game. You wanna eat it? Yes, we're gonna eat your soul. I mean the eat persimmon. Anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. We grab that kid's rifle. Oh yeah, look, it's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Conical Chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. Or if you die, you sure? Okay then, here goes. Oh, we're just gonna take a bite of it and I can peel it. A savage. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? <laughs> Come on, Kanako chan. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Thanks. He's faking all along. <laughs> yes, we get the sumo guy. <laughs> she, he, he eats it and she just like passes out. Ugh. Nice. There we go.